Grant Riller is a guard who just finished off uh, his senior season at the College of Charleston. And in this video, I will be breaking down uh, a game versus VCU. So this video is going to be broken into three sections. First, looking at his scoring and then shifting to his passing and decision making and finishing off with his defense. So I'm going to start by talking about Riller's scoring ability. So you can see he gets the ball with his back to the defender and he delays, gives a little pump fake and then creates a ton of separation moving backwards and hits the step back mid range jumper. Riller has an uncanny ability to go from slow to fast. So you can see, starts out moving slowly, lulls his defender to sleep almost, and then explodes and finishes through contact. He runs the break and glides right to the hoop and finishes over two guys. I can't think of a better guard finisher in this entire class. Riller is also elite in his ability to change direction. Here it can be seen driving right, behind the back move and cuts back left. And again, he uses a combination of strength and touch to finish through contact. Riller's pull-up game is very nice too. Here he gets the ball, pushes it up the floor, and you can see this defender sort of bracing back for the drive and he pulls up and sinks the three. Also gets a foul there too. Here's another look at his pull up jumper from the right wing. He's also a fantastic catch and shoot guy, and he's going to show that off on this play. Now I'm going to move on and talk about his passing and decision making. So Riller does a pretty good job using the gravity he creates as a scorer to make plays for his teammates. For this entire game, VCU was putting a lot of pressure on him. Uh, here they throw a double team at him. So someone's definitely going to be open, uh, recognizes the open man under the hoop, and should have ended up with a hockey assist here. So here he has the ball on the wing again, and he's going to do that exact same step back move from earlier. Uh, pump fake sends one defender flying. Other defender comes in to help, leaving his man wide open, and Riller finds him. So on this play, Riller's going to drive, and VCU cuts him off. They have a ton of guys down low. Uh, so now Riller there could dish it out to a player on the perimeter, but he's looking for a layup pass. So he delays and this VCU defender spreads out to the perimeter to deny the ball. Number 13 cuts in, Riller makes a great pass. Very intelligent play. As I've shown earlier, he's not a bad decision maker, but he's not great by any means. Here I think he can try to find this guy in the corner or even just finish with a simple layup. Uh, he's not a particularly explosive vertical athlete, so going for the highlight reel slam there isn't really a great decision. Here he has a lane to the hoop that he can take, and if that help defender comes in, he can dish it to number two in the corner, but he tries a spin move and kind of runs right into a defender that he didn't see and turns the ball over.
at times he just tries to do it all by himself. Here VCU is pressing and he just tries to dribble through it rather than making a pass and gives VCU two easy points. This one, he's definitely more under control, grabs the rebound, doesn't force anything, makes a great pass to his teammate. So next I'm going to talk about his defense, an area where he isn't great right now, but he does have some potential. So here he gets screened and doesn't really fight around it and just goes for a lackadaisical steal attempt. So on this one, this guy on the wing uh, gets by his man and number 20 is sealed off. And rather than playing help defense, Riller sort of just goes back out to the perimeter and sticks with his man and VCU gets two easy points. On this play, he never really gets into a good stance and gets caught flat-footed, and this guy just blows right by him. When Riller's locked in on the defensive end, he's actually very solid. Uh, here you can see him fighting through the screen, uh, staying low in his stance, keeping his arms straight up. And that's just textbook defense. So I guess I'll just close by talking about where I stand on Riller as a prospect. Uh, he will end the season falling somewhere between 18 and 26 on my board. So he's definitely a first rounder in my eyes. He's a legitimate three level scorer with an elite first step and he's definitely the best finisher in this class. His decision making isn't great, but it isn't bad either. I can definitely see him benefiting playing next to another facilitator. With his strength and quickness, I can see him being a respectable defensive player in the NBA. Uh, in a lower usage offensive role, he should be able to focus more on the defensive end. Okay, so if you made it to the end, thank you for sticking with me. Uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on Twitter and Instagram.